All right, so here I am with the man himself. Shouldn't it be vertical, like this way? I mean, I'll make it vertical in editing. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so today I'm here with the man himself. Long dick Joey, you feel me? Biggest dick on campus. That ass. That's crazy. And I'm here with Glory, aka Glow, aka Stay Polished with Glow, aka Mr. Studio Girl, aka him, aka the loyalist nigga in the DMV. You already know how it is. Word. Taikashi. Oh, you can, you know what I'm saying, do that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, turn it yeah. over. Okay. <laughs> I found the man himself. All right, um, it'd be that pretty motherfucker, Avi. You know what I'm saying? Casey, uh, yeah. the poet, tap in. We're talking, oh we talking about Prince right here, bro. I'm not even joking. Today's question of the day is: Do any of y'all believe in gender roles? In my opinion, that shit is stupid because you can't just say that the man, like that, the man is automatically the the protector, the provider. You can't say that, like, you can't automatically say that because I'm not gonna lie. Most of these men be bitches, y'all be broke, y'all be having all this Gucci, Prada, all this shit on y'all, but y'all got like five bucks in your pockets. So like, it like you can't just say automatically that the male is gonna be the per protector and the provider. The women can also do those things, cause women are not defenseless. Women are not defenseless. I'm I'm going off the record and say that women are not defenseless. Not all y'all. Some y'all do be defenseless. Don't cancel me for that. But yeah, that shit's kind of like, in my opinion, gender roles are retarded, very stupid. You know what I'm saying? As we speak, Twitter is going on him right now. <laughs> no, actually, Twitter is a grand. Y'all can go ahead and cancel me. I'll be like Andrew Tate to make more money. I'm talking about feminist. No, 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 no. I'm saying feminist Twitter is agreeing with him right now because they don't believe in gender roles either. That's what I'm now, saying. Now, however, These women however, understand. However, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, do I need? You can, you can, you can do what you want. Yeah. Um. All right. So. Yeah, take it off. Take it off. Take that shit off. Take that off. Fuck it. All right. All right. All right. Um. All right, so honestly, I'm not even gonna cap to you. I'm not the most traditional person or whatnot, but like, I kinda believe in some generals. Like some generals are kinda common sense. Like for instance, if someone robs or someone comes into the house, you know, trying to steal some shit, trying to kidnap some shit. Do you, I mean, I mean, do you really want your wife doing, you know, being the protector? I can't answer that easily. Look, like, I don't want my wife going down there, right? No. I wouldn't want. I, I, I'll, I'll go down there, but there'll be some niggas who are pussy. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not sugarcoating shit. Niggas, some niggas out here be straight pussy, not wanting to do shit. Be asking their wife to go down there and do shit, and then the way, when their wife get killed, they're gonna be crying. The bitch. Uh, uh, uh. Be a man. Grow some balls. Grow some cojones, and go down there and protect your peoples. Look, I, 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 I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like some females can knock a nigga out. Chicks like her? Yo, if she no no. She no. she looks like she'll go to jail for assault. Where am I dead? Nah, cause if we was in the same house together and some nigga knock on the door, I'm sending your ass down, bruh. I am being I'm being hundred percent fucking honest, bruh. You getting your ass blasted. Yeah, like a fucking Pokemon. You use gun, nigga. Like Taikashi, I choose you, head ass. What do you think? From a female perspective, what do you think it is? I mean, if I feel turn it this way. Okay, if I feel like someone is about to attack me, I'm going to shoot him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... No funny. No funny. Like, no bullshit. No gangster shit either. It's just like, I got to keep this Glock on me. Like, I'm not chilling with the nine. If I feel like you're about to try to hurt me, I'm not be like, oh, let me get my man. Nah, bitch, you down. <laughs> you about to put the baby and shoot him. <laughs> Don't compare me to that nigga. <laughs> but seriously, like, um, I understand some of them like obviously i do want somebody to i want to feel protected in a relationship in general so i feel like as long as it's mutual it doesn't really matter but having a male as a protector like he said some people are just not built that way so you know that's what it is I, yeah all right um i think what it is is i think i think a lot it's a lot of linguistic problems right with the wording of this stuff right like let's say like oh you know you have to submit to your man and da 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 and so and so a lot of people equate the word submit to 
like obedience you know you're under me and da 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 and i think what like true like you know truly submitting to your partner is like you know surrendering yourself to okay look i'm with you you know what i mean you're my man all right i'm submitting i'm i'm going to do this but i expect you know what i mean i'm not paying a bill you know i mean i mean now i'm down you know, like like for instance you know what i mean like me and my girl talk about this stuff and you know she was like you know um if like when it comes to money and stuff like that i would i would be the main one paying bills and stuff like that but if whatever reason something i got is like going wrong she'll step in and you know do da 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 right um you know i'll take out the trash mow the lawn and da 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 but you know like cooking and cleaning and stuff like that i'll help out i mean i would help out with cooking and da 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 but you know what i'm saying like if i come home you know what i mean and and especially if she's not working like you know what i mean i'm a want you know what i mean a little sum on my plate you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not i'm not some like no, but that's you know make me a sandwich bitch kind of thing. no but that's the shit that pisses no but the shit that pisses me off with is when y'all be like is when males like automatically assume that the women is go should be always be out there cooking you dinner and shit like that oh, yeah, no, like that shit is stupid no, you. you're you're a man you work okay so does so does everybody else every human works Gross, grow some cojones, go in the kitchen, get you a hot pocket, put it in the micro for like a minute, and then eat it, and then go to bed. So wait, I gotta Stop. Real quick. So like, how do you feel about men that want traditional women? I, I can go on that one. So personally, I'm obviously not traditional. They will throw me out to a pack of wolves. If I'm not traditional, obviously I'm not going to be a traditional woman. Now... In relationships, I think both parties submit to each other, kind of like we were saying. Um, now, if you're not doing anything, I would appreciate to have a clean house and food. Like, I'm giving you money. You might as well, you know, help me out in that aspect. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. And if you choose not to work, that's cool. But make sure you get X, Y, and Z done because let, let us work together. You feel me? But... I can't be in a traditional relationship to where it's just like, I have to not work. I like working. I like being creative. I like always doing something. I have ADHD. I have to do something. And being home all the time is kind of miserable. And a lot of times this traditionalism is really abusive, I feel like, um, where it's just like, well, you know, if I'm not making the money, right, let's, let's, let's do an example, right? So let's, let's act like we're in a relationship, whatever, and you're making the money and I'm not really doing anything. I'm just, you know, cooking and cleaning, whatever. And I will ask you for something and because you're the money maker and you won't give it to me it's kind of a way of it's called financial abuse so it's like oh i want to get a driver's license and you're like no you know what i'm trying to say because you have that access to that stuff exactly so it's just like for me it's a lot easier for us to both be working and both be doing something because we have that mutual respect that we're both doing something and we both have freedom outside of each other because a lot of people want their partners to be secluded in traditional relationships because they fear like i don't want her out with other people but i can be out with people kind of thing so it's all about balance to me and traditional relationships a lot of times are imbalanced so let me get a word bro like i'm gonna hold you it's not really about the dominant and submissive it's really about respect you feel me in a in a inequality like because look if i if i can ask you to make a sandwich for me right right i i can make you a sandwich sometimes too you feel me like like it, it makes no sense to just come in and say oh when i come home every day i need a goddamn sandwich my dick sucked and everything like that nigga what she a human being bro she ain't no robot you feel me and that's the thing a lot of people don't see it. a lot of people don't see women as people they see women as a as an object or asset Right, right, and adding on to that, you know what I'm saying, and or right, or and like and like and and the exact op opposing side of that is also wrong too. Like, say for instance, like like how you know, like like you said, you know, a lot of guys, you know, see women as like you know servers, uh, objects, and you know, uh, you know, sexual toys, basically. You know what I'm saying? You know, now the opposite of that is you know women seeing men as wallets and you know ways to you know move up in the world and da 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 and it's like and it's like and i feel like this stuff we shouldn't even have to be having these conversations because if you're in a relationship it should be out of like love you know what i mean like because when you love somebody you're willing to do 
whatever for them. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, you know, people can say, you know, like, and people talk about unconditional love all the time, but, but love changes people. You know what I mean? You can, like, the way you look at a relationship outside of one versus when you're in one, it, it changes. And even when you're in the relationship, it can change too. You know what I mean? Like, your roles will switch. You know, sometimes, like, say, for instance, you're in a relationship for a long time, you know, you move in together, da 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 da. And, you know, y'all both got jobs and stuff like that. There's not all that room for a traditionalism. You know what I mean? Like, like, like if we both got jobs i'm not gonna come home from work and expect you you know who's just as tired if not more tired from your job to make us food you know what i mean we can get in there together make some or order some out you know what i mean like yeah 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 to, 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 to piggyback of oh this is about to die hold up about to die in a minute hold on i right, let me get this let me get this in to piggyback of what you said bro like after cooking food with my girl, I ain't gonna lie, it tastes ten times fucking better. To to I, not not to sound corny or whatever, but like to to have that love put into the food. But I should it, it tasted like 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 rainbows and sunshine, bro. Like like <laughs> bro, like it low key tasted as good as her, bro. But I'm a, I'm gonna save that for later. You feel me? So I know it's about to die. I'm trying to hurry up. So p picking backing up of what you're saying and you, how we were saying like women see men as like a way to succeed in life, right? Um, I do understand to a, a certain extent like as a woman because back in the day like we had to have a husband to do certain things. Um, still to this day I do deal with sexism in that way. Um, but also like I've been in very interesting like places, talk to different people. And a lot of people, like for me, it was hard for me to work in the music industry without kind of having that, like I have to kind of use you in a way because people see me in that way. And I don't want to view people like that. I want to build genuine connections with people, but sometimes it's hard to be genuine full of like fake people where people want something out of you in order for them to do something. Like it's not all about the money. Like I could pay somebody to do something because you know, I need something done, but they may be like, oh, well, you're not sleeping with me, so I don't see the obligation to do that. And it's just like, I shouldn't have to sleep with you to do this. But a lot of people who are faced against that, they use their bodies in a way to get themselves ahead of something because someone wouldn't do something to help them out of gener like generosity. It's more of what are you doing for me that I can get out of you? So it's kind of like tapping into women's minds like, okay, well, I know I need this money and I'm having a hard time in this area of this life. Let me go towards him because I know that he's not going to be like my husband or something and he doesn't see me in a genuine light, but I know that he'll give me something out of that. You know what I mean? So it's not it's not good, but that's just kind of how people adopted. Like people see other people as means to an ends instead of actual means. So, yeah. You cannot associate yourself with smoke. I'm just kidding. All right, go. One more time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Hit that nine. You nice. You did a good job. Get it. Okay. I'm going to promote this on uh, OnlyFans. If you had to spend 24 hours with Dream and you couldn't say no, what would you do? I had dinner with him in the first hour. <laughs> I can't get dirty, bro. I need this music. What the fuck? I, I need that. I need that DMV African. You're not dirty enough. Can't get dirty to anything. What you mean? You trying I, to get dirty? I need your music. Play, play some drill beats. Play, play some drill beats. So one last thing. One last thing. I wanted to add. Like I wanted to follow up on the um men seeing women as objects thing. How do y'all feel about? I guess women putting themselves in that situation where they're being seen as objects. Like you see, like let me let me elaborate. Let me elaborate real quick. Like you see posts on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, even you know they shaking their ass, they showing titties and shit like that. How do y'all feel about that? Like you know how women put themselves in. Y'all put yourselves in your own situation. If y'all know that a nigga is gonna beat, like is gonna try and go at you just because they got you shaking ass. They catch you showing titties. They catch you showing your, your, your you know what on camera. If if them, them yams, if you really think that they're not like, if you really think that they're trying to get with you for your personality after they literally just seen you shaking ass, showing titties, yada yada yada. Respectfully, I'm saying this in the nicest way to you females. Not all of them, but most of y'all. 
you all i'm saying this in the nicest way are the f- stupidest people i have ever fucking met like oh my god i don't think you understand how, how how much that shit pisses me off they do all this shit they get with this nigga this nigga treats him bad they go on instagram yada 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 oh my boyfriend treat me bad oh i'm single oh, i'm lesbian you put yourself in this own situation that's what i'm saying i'm not gonna lie I damn, I, I don't know if I really want to admit this on the internet. Whatever, let's just be real. So, I, um, be fucking for real, you know what I'm saying? So, as a server, as a bartender, I do try to display some sort of sex appeal. I'm not going to lie to you. And to be fair, do I, do I say like, okay, if a man is shirtless, right? I have the choice to objectify him or just see that he's shirtless. You know what I'm trying to say? That's it's all about perspective so it's just like there are women and it's not normal now but women are more sexually expressive so it's just like it's either you can see it as sexual expression or you can objectify it i think the biggest example biggest examples are like you know cardi megan you know um them you know coil array i to a lesser extent but i mean i mean i mean i'm probably because probably because a few you know little videos thrown out there but you know but i'm saying i'm saying like the whole i think i think it's hard to you know and you're right you know i mean it is definitely a choice you know seeing it as you know sexual expression um besides objectifying them right because especially in my single days right um you know one a big problem with the objectification of women the biggest problem easily is the porn industry um that has quite literally ruined the image of women in the eyes of man but it's also because of men because yeah yeah it's a male dominated thing because they literally put all these women on here you know like exactly you know and so and kind of kind of kind of no but most of the time the female put themselves in this they're like that position like all these females getting posted on on Pornhub, Bang Bros, Black Black Raw. I'm saying all this. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have watched porn, so yes, that's why I know all these channels, bro. But you gotta understand, like they put themselves in the whole situation. And I'm not gonna lie, porn stars make bank. They they don't some some especially the guys. Yeah, especially the guys. But but okay, no, I oh, but yeah. But if you're not in the top like hundred, yeah, you're not making you're not making bank. But like, if you're like in the top 100, you're making some sort of, some sort of bank. But you also, you're not another. Okay, let me see. Like, like, one, like, like about Lana Rhodes. Like, you know she has a kid, right? You know what? Just to take it. Like, a yeah. porn star should be clapping her cheeks, my nigga. Her son's gonna be made fun of. Her. Thank you. Her son's going to. Like, she has a son. Her son's literally going to be made. Oh my God! Say one thing. Her son's literally gonna be made fun of at school. They're gonna say, "Oh, who's your? What's your mother's name? Lana. Your mother's name's your mom's Lana Rose. Oh, I seen her titties. Oh, I seen her shaking ass. Oh, I seen her get ran through. Oh, I seen her like no. Y'all put yourselves in this situation, and then the next, and then the next generation has to suffer because of the because of the past mistakes that you have made. I mean, I feel like that's kind of sexy. Oh, I, I, I wanted to give you a chance, but I'm not trying to say. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, think about it this way. Like, your dad could be in porn, but how, how are we viewing your father being in porn? You're like, oh, for real? Like, you really on here doing that? Like, that's lit. Like, I would love to fuck bitches on camera. It's crazy, cousin. Like, every culture just about female promiscuity has been basically, you know, but a lot of guys promote, you know, their their own degeneracy you know what i mean they're like yeah bro i get the most bitches you know what i mean and all these rappers and stuff nowadays it's, i say that but i'm a rapper too but like but like but, but but i don't rap about that stuff though you know what i mean i don't rap about that stuff like like and one thing i think one thing is i bet drop a bar on this ass ass titties titties <laughs> money, 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 shooting, weed, shooting. Weed, 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 we
the, the same flow, the same everything. Music in this music, no, no, music in this generation, except for my boy Casey the Poet, you know, tap in. He's him. And, and my boy Skilly Skills. <laughs> like, they like all the music is the same. And then you got all these like wannabe drill rappers thinking that they're gonna be the next big thing. No, you say the same thing. You're gonna be in the same position as everybody else, not making jack. No bank, no nothing. Exactly. <laughs> You, that's why you're still in your mom. That's why you're still in your mom's basement. But going back to the whole like, like, porn star thing, right? I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like porn stars are very smart, and the women who do that are very smart because look, men are easily manipulated, brother. They're very stupid. If I, look, look, if 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 I'm born with with yams and yiddies, you feel me? And I can just spread them out and get like 20,000 20, a, a minute. You know how much bad baby made on OnlyFans? 18 million, my nigga. What? Well, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Look, niggas been niggas been grooming her. I ain't gonna lie, but that's a different that's a different topic. You feel me? Niggas waited until she turned 18. The second she turned 18, and made OnlyFans, bro. She made millions of dollars in the first two days. Two days, my nigga. Like, how do you like like that kind of? Get out of your mom's basement. Go make some money. Go meet a woman. Like, come on now. Stop. Stop beating your dick. Even though I did mine yesterday. Chill. But I still. But I still. But, but like I said, like it. Look, if I was a, if I was a female, I would be a porn star because it's just too easy. And it, I would, well, look, it, it sounds crazy saying that, but it's like, to me, I think a man's greatest superpower is resisting temptation, and porn is definitely a temptation. You feel me? Look, if if men weren't as horny as they were, porn would never exist, my nigga. Kingdoms, kingdoms would never fall. <laughs> like it's it's insane what niggas would do for pussy. No, I gotta add on to it's that. insane. Gotta add on to that. War wars are fought over a pussy. What the fuck? Hold on, let me add on to that, bro. You got you got motherfuckers spending like their whole life savings on a bitch that can't even, that they can't even get. That's facts. Like, bro, you got. What's the what's the what's the name? Give me a name, bro. Give me a name. You got uh, uh, Mia Khalifa. You Boy, got no 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 like no 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 like a random name. Nah, I need like a random name, just like any random name. Uh, all right, uh, 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 George. No, I'm a porn you know. <laughs> Hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got fucking you got fucking Yavana over there, over there in fucking I don't know fucking Russia or some shit. You spending like 10k on pictures and videos. Nigga, focus on your purpose, bruh. Like, that shit is just a waste of time. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Dog. <laughs> Pic pixel pussy is crazy, but you know what I'm saying. Nah, that fucking, I, nah, that fucking polygon pussy. Bro. You you paying for goddamn three-dimensional pussy, my nigga. You're not even hitting that shit. What's wrong with you, my nigga? That's, that's, that's crazy, my nigga. So, okay, I guess I'm exposing myself now. So, I worked in the sex industry. I still do now, but I like it, right? But I'm not a porn star. <laughs> Let's get out that. Let's get out of the way. I, I do want to. I have um. You know what? Nothing. Let me. <laughs> but like, think about it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to hurry up. So, as a dancer, right? Just because people dance does not necessarily mean that it's like a thing that's supposed to be like shameful. You know what I'm trying to say? Like we're talking about porn stars and we're talking about how women objectify themselves. Honestly, you know how much profit we get from objectifying ourselves? And the sad part is a lot of us women get more attention when we're minors because people over-sexualize minors. So it's just kind of like we are, ourselves are groomed to think, well, if I have sex appeal, I might as well use it in my favor. And for me, why I started dancing was one, because I wanted to get out of my fucking house. Like I was like, if niggas are willing to give me this much attention online without me showing anything, imagine me showing like, you know, me in a thong bikini, whatever, shaking my ass somewhere. How much money can I make off somebody? You know what I'm trying to say? And that's morals. Like everything is, people can realize that dignity is for self. It's not for others. So it's just like, if you're gonna shame somebody for doing porn or something, also think about their past. What were they doing beforehand that was like, okay, this is not making ends meet for me and my children. I need to find a way to do it because somebody else is not doing it. Or someone trying to, get, like Cardi B tried to get out of a toxic situation. A lot of people who put themselves in those situations and tries to sell something is mainly because not, some people like being expressive. Like for me, I like dancing, but some people also hate it. They hate being noticed in that kind of way, but they're just like, well, no one's gonna take care of my kids. I can't get on section eight. Like, think about it that way. 
and see this this is this this is why um like the world is kind of crazy you know because i i agree like with the whole you know make ends meet you know what i'm saying getting out of a shitty situation and da, 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 you know um and it's a bit of a temporary fix you know but however i think one of the biggest problems with the whole being especially like if you're you know like top two percent on only fans and da, 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 right right so if you're like really noticed and stuff like that it's hard you know you find a lot of you know stories about these ex porn stars and da, 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 having trouble finding you know meaningful relationships and that because their connections with the industry and you know you know like 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 for instance if you were single and riley reed came up to you so it's like an ex porn star you know what i mean comes up to you and is like yo i'm you know i'm not gonna lie i think i'm really feeling you and da, 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 da. and i know you probably know me from x videos or some shit right but you know i'm really trying to get into something real a lot of guys you know they're like nah bro you know because you've been fucked by you know this country of people and shit like that and you know i feel like one of the things is um it's a it's a it's a touchy subject it really is because like and that's why i don't shame them for it you know what i mean i usually shame like certain aspects of it you know what i mean like i don't like the fact that you know how normalized it's become i don't like the fact that it's you know like i said messed up you know the view of women and stuff like that honestly there have been times when porn has fucked me up so bad like like i couldn't get it up you know what i mean like like yeah like because because as you get you know the more you know the more often you watch that shit you not only get used to it but the your standards get higher you know what i mean you start watching you know right and you start watching you know more like sexually abusive stuff you know what i mean like and da, 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 da. and you know i feel like this overflow of i guess like degeneracy is kind of you know there needs to be more avenues for careers you know what i mean um that aren't or okay no 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 there needs to be more avenues for careers so that you know especially if a woman really 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 does not want to get into that line of work then she doesn't have to you know what i mean um because sadly it's very easy to become you know to get a bag off that well, it depends on what you're doing. yeah, it depends what you're doing and it's beforehand. Still, like if, okay, yeah. so let's say let's say I did OnlyFans, right? OnlyFans is like a search engine based thing. I don't personally do OnlyFans; I just know about it. So I would have to market myself for people to subscribe to me. So in a way, there's a lot of people who don't make a lot of money on OnlyFans because people don't know who you are. It's the same thing with artistry. We have to make sure that we are seen as artists. We have to connect with people and talk to people about our product and make people want to listen to us you know what i'm trying to say some people do find us but on soundcloud me and you it yes it is because ours is a little different you know what i'm trying to say streams are you you i made i probably made like two dollars you made two dollars off of that off of streams how many streams you get um i'm i have like 16k on one song and then uh, I, I I work my ass off to get people to listen to my shit and then I pay for I'm not saying you don't but also like the amount of hate as a woman that I get it's so like I was like people be like oh you should go back to cooking in the kitchen and shit and I'm just like okay like <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean yeah I can, I'm gonna speak on that I can see how the like there's a different view for like female rappers because you know you hear the same thing from like for example you hear the same thing from like megan the stallion uh Coyle ray or other rappers along that or like glorilla for example and um what's that what's that other one i can't remember um cardi b no not well ruby yeah rose. cardi b ruby rose and it's someone else some like she just did her song with um she did a song with Glorilla. No, she did a oh, song with Glorilla. 
Lotto. Oh. Lotto. 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 Yeah. See, they always talk about the same thing, and this is what I've noticed from like as far as listening to it. Mm-hmm. They talk about, you know, they talk about their, you know, they talk about the, you know, they talk about the yams. They talking about the the yiddies. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They talk about the same thing over and over again, and somehow it gets tiring. So I can see, Kinda I can, works. yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I can see the like. I can see the different, you know, the differential sides of it like if like say he's rapping he gets a lot of views he doesn't get any criticism you're rapping you get a lot of views and a lot of streams and stuff like that you get criticism hella criticism so you can kind of see how that correlates to you know your gender and what you're doing in music you know what i'm saying because you know a lot of people on that side do that Mm -hmm. going back to the porn star thing i just want to say like (laughs) no 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 because look because look I, look, it, this, this is very, this, this is like kind of serious too. Going back to porn, it's like, look, I don't care what you do to make your money, you feel me? As long as you ain't hurt nobody, you feel me? So I, I respect the fuck out of porn stars. I really do because, look, I gag when I brush my teeth. How the fuck do you take eight inches, nine inches down the throat? You feel me? Now, but jokes aside though, right? Jokes aside though, right? The porn stars are con- porn stars are content creators. You feel me? You gotta you gotta market on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, especially Twitter, Reddit, especially especially Reddit, especially Reddit. Um, but it's not easy. You feel me? And it's really a cause and effect, which is everything has cause and effect. You feel me? And I I, I respect them even more because going into porn, you can you lo- you can lose a lot. You feel me? Cause let's say you don't blow up, right? Your your titties are out there. For thousands and thousands of people and you didn't make any money and let's say you do blow up right you make a million dollars a day or type shit now your, your your titties are still out there you're making money but nobody respects you and they never will and it, it, it it's really crazy you know like people don't see porn stars as as people they don't see them as people and it, it's crazy and I, I just i don't i don't really get it you feel me um i just don't I think it's also based like how we were saying how sexism plays a role. It's just like, okay, us as a society, we don't like seeing people be too vulnerable. We always want to see, okay, who's really out here, especially in the rap community and stuff like that. Like you act all hard and like you want to be gangster, you know, all this stuff, you know, fucking, fucking a lot of people, you know what I'm trying to say? But in reality, it's just like we as a society are hypersexualizing everything. And I know what you're saying, you know, Yiddy, like female rappers talking about their titties, their, their coochie, you know, all this other stuff having no smell. But it's just like, that's what's selling right now. So it's just like a lot of women, some women do want to, you know, talk about that kind of stuff. But also some women like Meg was like, you know what, after I signed this deal, they want me to do a lot more. So it's like I'm hyper sexualizing myself and men themselves hyper sexualize themselves in rap too. It's just normalized. So it's just like if a male rapper you know has a sex tape and it comes out right they're like oh like he really doing all that or some people you know may may shame him but let's look at kim kardashian and how she built her career off that sex tape it's just like oh my god now she did go up in her career over that but also people have a very negative connotation of her just because everybody has sex or unless you're asexual you know what i'm trying to say but sex is a normal thing it's just that people want to demonize it when it comes to women because women are supposed to be pure and all this other stuff but we have to realize if women are supposed to be pure and untouched why are we why are we comparing women to children because children are supposed to be innocent and untouched you know what i'm trying to say you why do you why do you want to prioritize having a virgin woman or if you don't have a virgin woman you compare that to like a car with a lot of miles when it comes to men it's just like oh you want a man who has experience so he has to be with multiple people so it's just like are y'all all fucking the same bitches or are y'all fucking yourselves because like if you're talking about you getting all these bitches it's either you want a bitch that's not touched uh i don't understand that because you everybody wants to throw in their life a little bit you know what i'm trying to say so it's either you're settling for people that you don't really want but it's societal like societally okay or it's just like if someone were to date ruby rose or whatever they'd be like oh you're dating a whore you can break down a lot of rap music nowadays to just <laughs> ass titties weed ass titties weed smoking fucking bitches fucking bitches right uh, this is what so I'm talking about. my dick so long my dick better than yours my car better like and, and it's crazy like it's it's because they can do that right but when a female talks about popping her pussy it's it's, it's demonized and it's kind of crazy because 
Look, look, look. She ain't no eight. She, 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 she know. She not. She not. She's not an eight year old, right? She's not ten year old. You feel me? She's tw she's a grown woman. She's twenty years old. What a what a how what a house what a house, my nigga. You expect her to not have cravings to not want some dick? <laughs> like as much as we as males can fuck and will fuck, you don't think that a female has the same ur urges? Are you dumb, my nigga? We're all we're all we're all human beings. We all have similar urges. Like, look, most some men. Some men want pussy or some men want dick. I don't know how I don't know how you want to be rocking. I'm not I'm not like, you know, some 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 women like pussy, some women like dick. Some like both. Some men like both. I'm not judging. I'm king of the stairs. Oh, you not. You better get kicked off the stairs. That lady in the rest said get down. Get down. <laughs> Bag I'm up. king of the stairs. No, you not. You're Walking king of the rail. The king of the decline. What? King of the decline. Come on down. Like the price is right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I win a free car? Huh? I'm going to need that. You can of get on course. We just zoomed in and everything. I just need... <laughs> She pitied that. Hey, y'all, where my fucking 50 at? That bitch was loud as shit. I told you it was loud. I forgot to put it back. I told you it was loud. Your ears are right, bro. Your ears are bad. You mind bad. I had to come from the stomach, you feel me? I hit that shit with my chest. I felt it in my fucking brain. Cause that shit was huge. You felt that shit in your brain, bro? Make your... Jesus Christ, where have you been? You're 30 minutes late. We need the, we need the package like an hour ago. Hour ago, yo, what the fuck? The show is like right now. We're not doing this, we're just Alright, all right, you know, I brought everything. You know, I'm sorry, you know, I, I ran into a cat. A cat, really? Yes, a cat, okay? Can you stop fucking with me for once? I'm not! <laughs> On a good day. Tomorrow is yesterday. He goes the day of tomorrow. He goes why for a next question. So the seagull walked on the seashore. And it's on top of the world. It goes into the earth floor. It's on top of the middle of the sun. So the chicken went across the road to get a pizza from Domino's and then went to the TV to go eat fish. I'm not gonna lie, that sink really had my trash can up high.